Hi everyone, welcome to the garage and welcome to a new project. Let's check out what I got. So I was perusing Facebook Marketplace and I came across this gem right here. It's a Schwinn trike. Uh, I don't come across a lot of these so I definitely had to uh, take advantage and pick it up. But of course we're not going to be pedaling this thing around like an old lady. We are going to be putting a dirt bike engine on it. This is a Lifen, a Leafon, Lifen 125. I bought it brand new a couple years ago and it probably only has like an hour of ride time on it. But anyway, that's the engine. Let's uh, go over the game plan real quick. So basically, I'm just gonna clear this entire section out. I'm gonna take the pedals off, take this section out, these supports, everything. And then uh, I should be able to fit the motor right here, which would be perfect. So this is gonna be difficult because this frame is aluminum. All right, well, I'll start out with taking the basket off, taking the pedals off, and then see where we get from there. So like I said, the entire frame is actually aluminum. So that means we need to figure out a way to strengthen the frame after I cut it, while also being able to mount the engine and all the other components. I found out that grinders actually don't work that well with aluminum. So I guess we gotta resort to the reciprocating saw. Once the frame was all cleared up, I tested out the engine size. It looks like it's gonna be a good fit. I won't lie, I kinda of feel bad about this one. This entire trike is made from aluminum. From the rims, to the pedals, to the entire frame, so uh, oh well. To make this aluminum frame workable, I'll be bolting steel components to the frame so that I can weld off of them. This first piece I bolt to the seat tube. Next, I need to make a piece that bolts to the rear of the frame so that I can attach a jack shaft as well as the rear motor mounts. I then trace the contour of the rear of the frame on a piece of metal. Once it's to the desired shape, I then score it with the grinder so that I can bend it. Now it fits nicely to the frame. And finally, I cut out some side pieces to finish up our little mount. All right, so here we have, this is gonna be our, I guess our aluminum to steel conversion. Basically I got, I took one piece of steel, bent it up, and then took another piece, and then cut it to, to size, and then bent it this way. Now it fits nice and snug over this area here. And then what I'll do is come along, drill some holes, and then bolt it to the frame. All right, so as you saw, I put this on here and this is steel so I can weld to it. And what I'll do is get a motor mount from here to here. And then on the bottom, I just need to make a motor mount that goes like that, welds right to that. So before I mount the engine, I actually wanna make a jack shaft and line it up and make sure it's all straight. So first things first, I have to switch out the sprocket with something slightly larger. Unfortunately, I don't have any sprockets that fit on this size of axle, so I'll be using this thing. I'm not sure what it is, but it should work fine. I had to sand out the bore just a hair so that it could fit on the shaft. This will be the new sprocket that we use. Alright guys, so we got a new sprocket on the rear axle. Uh, as you can see, we used this thing that I found at the junkyard, not sure what it is, and it's made out of some alloy or a different metal. It kind of welded weird, so we'll see if that still works. But I'm happy with it, there's not a lot of play, and it passes the Oliver motorized uh, standard test, which is very rigorous. All right, so next I'm gonna have to put a jack shaft on there. Uh, I think I'm gonna utilize this section right here, cut out a piece of steel that I can bolt along here, and it'll just be like a, 
you know, like a triangle like that, and we'll have two bearings and then a shaft running through it. And then we might even put a brake on there. I begin by tracing the space that I need on a piece of steel. I then cut out the general shape I want for the bearing mount. After that I drilled out a hole that the shaft will go through. Next we have to assemble the jack shaft. Once I aligned the chain and made sure it was straight, I then welded the bearing plates to the frame. Finally, I drilled some holes and bolt the steel plate to the tricycle frame. Well, the jack shaft is all set up. I'm actually really happy with it. As you saw, I went and drilled and bolted on our steel piece and now it's nice and sturdy onto the aluminum frame. What I did have to do over here was move the bearing that was on this side, and I actually had to sand it down a little bit so that it would fit in between here. That was just um, because I needed room to put this sprocket here to line up properly with the motor. All right, so since the jack shaft is mounted, I can now finally move on to the motor. I'm gonna bend some one inch tubing and connect it from this bottom part to this tubing right here and then another one inch going all the way over the engine and then connecting to the front and that will give us a nice sturdy uh, frame. To start working on the frame I first bend up some tube. I then mark it up and then cut it to length. These two bolts were originally on the back side, but to fit the new frame I'm putting in, I needed to move them. Once that's all welded in, I then cut out all the components that I need for the engine mounts. Now all I have to do is assemble them, make sure that the engine is lined up perfectly, and then just weld them on. Now the moment of truth is to put the engine back on and make sure that the chain still lines up perfectly. For the most part it does, but there is a little bit of slack that I didn't have before. Either way, it should be alright. Next I put on the carburetor so that I can see how much clearance I'm going to need for the frame. Again I bend up some tube and then I try to figure out how I really want this thing to look. I'll use this thick pipe, cut it in half, and then bolt it to the frame so that I can weld to it. As you can see, the new part just bolts to the trike. Next, I measure and cut the piece that will be the down tube. And then finally, I tack it all in place. Well guys, I think it's safe to say it doesn't look like a granny drives it anymore. This thing's gonna be awesome. So guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.